Hey, this video is going to take you through the best way to make different parts of uh, paper roller coasters. We're going to start with supports and then move on to how to make tracks. I'll show you how to make loops and corkscrews uh, and then some time wasters. Uh, the project that I have my students do involves having a marble take as long as possible to get from the top to the bottom. And it's a great project because really all it requires is cardstock paper and tape. Uh, for a base of the roller coaster, you can use cardboard or foam board w works really well. It's a good size also, the foam board. Um, there's a lot of trial and error in this project, and so students have to test and retest and test and retest. It's, it's a lot like a Rube Goldberg machine. If, if you've never had uh, students make one of those, that's another great project. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to show you is how to make the supports. The supports are very important, and this is what you want to do. So the first fold that you make is going to be a hot dog fold. So it's like uh, straight down. And once you have your fold there, you, you, you really have to crease it. One of the most important things you can do with these roller coasters is to crease all of your folds. So once you have that first fold right down the middle, Next thing we want to do is we want to take each edge and fold that in towards the crease in the middle. So like this. And what you're going to end up with is what looks like two long double doors. One side. Sides, and you're going to make sure you have a good crease on there. Now, once you have your three folds, sort of open it back up again, and then you want the outside edges of these two to fold into each other. So, I'll do that again so you can see better. It sits just like that. Okay, and you get that triangle. The, the more equilateral the triangle, the better. And then what I do is I lay it flat on the table. You take three short pieces of tape, maybe a little over an inch long. Go parallel. To the folds. And you've got a good support for uh, putting your tracks on. Now, one of the good things about these supports is um, you can put them together sort of like straws. If you've ever put straws together, you crimp one end and then you can just slide it in. So if you wanted to build taller, you'd have a, a much taller roller coaster. And if you want to, you can put a piece of tape there to hold it. But it really does a pretty good job of just staying where it is. Uh, if you wanted to add this directly to the base, let's say that this is my base here. Then what I want to do is I take my pair of scissors. A lot of times, I'm surprised this pair of scissors didn't have it on it already. I create a mark on the scissors like that. So I can see exactly how deep to cut. And then what I'll do is I'll go right in the crease up to that dot and cut. And I'll turn it right to that dot cut. Now I can flip these out. You know that they're all the same distance. That way when I stand up my support and tape this to the base I know that they're standing up straight. Now when you, when you tape the support to the base, you want to make sure that your tape goes right into that corner. Like that. If you tape too far out here, like this, it's going to give this, this part here a chance to lift up off the, off the base and then your, your uh, supports are going to wobble and that could lead to problems later on. 